Eyewitness right, News reporter Steve Nielsen continues our in-depth coverage now from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Oh, it was heartbreak city. Cumberland American lost their elimination game, but because of their hard play, their never give up attitude and their touching speeches from their coach, they've touched the hearts of America. There's no doubt about that. And when you walk around here in Williamsport, you see that there's a lot of New England fans here and you can't go far without seeing that New England gear. Dustin Solomon is in charge of the team shop at the Little League World Series. They sell gear for every team that makes it this far. Fans here are very awesome. Considering the kids from Cumberland American have become such a huge sensation, I asked him how sales have been for those bright orange jerseys and hats. Uh, doing awesome. Uh, we still have a few items left. We have about halfway through the inventory, but uh, so far they uh, definitely uh, bring bring a lot of fans. So. That's clear to see. I talked with Mike Paulus, who has no connection to the team other than just loving their style of play. He has one son who so loved the competition, Chicago, but him and his daughter are all Rhode Island. And you just knew you needed to come out here to support the team? Absolutely. This is the second time they've been here in four years. Well, but you're a New England fan. Yes. You're smart. <laughs> and the good news for all the gear purchased here, it helps out next year so the Little League can keep capturing our hearts. It goes back to support the, uh, the program itself and, of course, uh, supporting the World Series and bringing all the players here. Now, as a journalist, I'm probably not supposed to take sides at all, but I actually got one of the shirts myself. It's impossible not to love these kids. They're the New England champions, and that's exactly what they are. They're champions. Reporting in Williamsport with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.